This means that in two weeks, in 13 days, he was allowed to change my daughter's mind about some fascist crap that y'all have led in this school. All right, Uncle Junior, we need you to take on another classroom activist out there that's been exposed doing what classroom activists do, which is indoctrinating children. We got another one, huh? Yeah, we got another one. But before that, Uncle June, welcome back to the folks tuning in and welcome to the first timers. No doubt, nephew, welcome to the Uncle Junior episode and be sure to drop a comment, like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Much appreciate. Now, who we taking on today, nephew? We got this pro Antifa activist posing as a history teacher out in California. Now, he's been caught on tape spilling the beans on his true intentions with the students in his class. But little did he know he was being recorded. Antifa, the leftist agitators running up and down the streets of this country causing havoc with their faces hidden, acting as if they're living under some type of fascist oppression. <laughs> really a bunch of indoctrinated white kids who when they're in a group think they're the damn Avengers or somebody. Now if you were to snatch one of them away from the group, they'll ball up in the fetal position and cry like a baby. They just need a good ass whooping. Now you'll always find them up in the faces of police officers talking smack knowing that the officers aren't going to take the bait so that they can catch a case. Huh? So we got one of them that's infiltrated the classroom, huh? Yeah, Uncle June, let's check it out. Incredibly ugly behavior come out of this city. And you can see a couple of people over there that might be demonstrating that. I have 180 days to turn them into revolutionaries. How do you do that? How do you scare the fuck out of them? Meet Gabriel Geit. He's a public school teacher paid for by taxpayer dollars at Intercom High School in Sacramento, California. Guy, who teaches advanced placement government classes, is not shy about his involvement in Antifa's local chapter. If you look at these photos from Guy's classroom, you can see he has an Antifa flag as well as a poster of Mao Zedong, the Chinese dictator who is one of the most notoriously brutal leaders in history, responsible for the death of millions. Uh, I, I probably, uh, as, as far left as you can go. <laughs> so, like, um, I've gone down those deep, dark rabbit holes where, like, the idea of, like, adventurism and just being like, why aren't people just, like, taking up arms? Like, why are we, and, you know, we have historical take, take taking up arms, like, yeah. against the state. Like, it, and we have historical examples of that happening and them getting crushed and being martyrs for a cause. And it's like, okay, well, it's, it's slow going because it takes massive amounts of organization. I have 180 days to turn them into revolutionaries. How do you do that? How do you scare the fuck out of them? Sacramento organization that is under the banner of Antifa is, is very loosely organized, right? Um, so that, yeah, when when there is like right-wing rallies and stuff, then we like, we'll create an opposition to that. Yeah. Beautiful. Where would he go to connect with some of these organizations? Like, no, I, I post a calendar oh, every okay, week. Awesome. And then, so like, they, it's, and I do it for extra credit. So they get points for doing it. Like, and so that encourages them to do it. <laughs> and I've, I've had like students show up for like protests, community events, you know, tabling, food distribution, all sorts of, all sorts of things. They, when they go, they take pictures, they write up a reflection, that's their extra credit. Like I, I have an Antifa flag on my, on my wall. Um, and a student complained about that, and he said it made him feel uncomfortable. Well, this is meant to make fascists feel uncomfortable, so if you feel uncomfortable, I, I don't really know what to tell you. <laughs> so you see, nephew, he's seeking to do to those students what was apparently done to him, which is to indoctrinate at an early age. The younger, the better. That's nothing but a vicious cycle. Each one, teach one, recruit, then mold. After all, every revolution needs expendable foot soldiers to sacrifice for the cause. And that's all these children are to him and he's forming his little personal army, one mind at a time. Now, all these institutions of education are the ideal recruiting grounds for these far-left lunatics. All those impressionable young minds have them salivating at the thought of these young kids under their control. Now it does make you wonder how in the hell do these people make it past the vetting phase of these schools? Now who's minding the damn hen house? And do they not take inventory of their school to examine what the teachers are doing? Not one damn administrator stepped foot in that classroom and saw all that leftist propaganda on the wall? Or did they? And just didn't give a damn until the cat was out of the bag via the video. You know, Uncle June, the parents, once they got wind of it, let it be known. And they went down there and raised hell and demanded he be fired. Staff pushing anti-American, hateful, or political agendas against America on our students, families, or communities, we want you out. 
now. Not paid leave and not in a week or two. Now. My daughter had to come to me and said, Mom, you don't understand. He's, he's, let me explain. This means that in two weeks, in 13 days, he was allowed to change my daughter's mind about some fascist crap that y'all have led in this school. I'm tired. This is ridiculous. I'm from Texas. So this don't go on in Texas. This does not go on in Texas. There are two grades higher than California, period. So to think that my very sound-minded daughter would go against me and my wishes and our values in our home to be able to go and support this man and he is putting her in harm's way, what the hell are y'all doing? I'm tired. How long does it have to go on before somebody says something? How long? How long? What are you gonna do? That's the question. Get him out of here. We don't fucking care about this boy. He got to go. Now that's what I'm talking about right there. Let folks know who the hell run things. And she sure did that, didn't she, nephew? She did, Uncle June. And it was affected because it's being reported that he's gonna be fired. He put out a video on it playing the victim. I say thank you to every past student and colleague and friend who's reaching out right now um, in support of what is happening. Um, you know, uh, my personal safety and security is obviously my top concern at this moment, but also like they are coming for my job and what I love doing in the classroom. Um, and they are going to run this campaign and get public pressure behind them. And the, it is very likely that the district will cave. Uh, in regards to this and um, I'm hopeful that they don't and um, all support at this moment is greatly appreciated. Thank you. <laughs> Poor little leftist victim. Cry me a damn river. That's amazing how these people are so arrogant and cocky when they're propagandizing, ain't it? But when they're caught, they put on a pitiful war is me disguise, don't they? As if he can't believe that they would even think of firing him. He can't even comprehend that it was borderline criminal for his ass to be there in the first place. Now he's lucky that a firing is all that's happening to him. Now his mind is so gone with all those years of leftist indoctrination that it'll take years of therapy to bring him back to the real world. But that's his problem. And it's to the benefit of those children that he and Chairman Mao will be sent packing, flag and all. So whatever, Antifa, you made your bed, now you go lie in it.